I'll be demonstrating for you how to download the current version of Scripty and what to do with Scripty after you've downloaded it. First, you'll need to go to the Scripty Systems website, so open the browser, and I'll just highlight everything after the www and type scriptysystems.com and press return. The Scripty homepage comes up. Next, click on the download button on the left side of the page. Be sure to read the What's New sections for the latest version. You might find new reports have been added, functionality that has been improved, or information about a problem that was fixed. Also notice the instructions for downloading the new version at the top of the page. That's basically what I'm demonstrating for you now. So when you're ready to download the new version, click the download link. You should see something indicating the progress of the download. The speed of your internet connection will determine how long this takes. The current file is about 4.8 megabytes, so it will take a minute to download. Once the download is complete, you may receive a warning indicating that the file contains an application and asking you if you want to continue downloading it. Here's our warning, so just click continue. Once the download is finished, you can close your browser and the download window. The download process has downloaded the file and saved it to the desktop or the download stack if you are on Leopard as a DMG file. A DMG is a disk image file that looks and acts much like a CD that you inserted into your CD drive. You can't add files to it or change it and you must eject it when you are finished with it. You can see that the download process also placed what looks like a CD drive onto the desktop. This indicates that the DMG file is open. Now, notice the list of files in the scripty DMG. There's a sample script called depth perception in final draft format. That's the one that ends in FDR, as well as in the avid script-based editing format that you'll use to import it into scripty. That's the one that ends in TXT. You can use these files to practice importing a script into scripty. There's also a depth perception scripty file with the script already loaded so you can see how it should look after an import. If you want to use these files, you should drag them to another folder or your desktop. I'll just drag them to my desktop. Now Scripty. We recommend that you put Scripty into the Applications folder. So I'm going to drag Scripty to my Applications folder. If you already had Scripty in the Applications folder, you will be asked if you want to replace the previous copy of Scripty. Click Replace. Now, if you already have Scripty on your dock, you're done. If not, we recommend that you also place Scripty onto your dock for easy access. Select the Applications folder, not the DMG, then drag Scripty and drop it on the dock. Now, we also recommend that you read the Getting Started with Scripty PDF document. There's helpful information about starting Scripty for the first time. Now at this point, we're done with the DMG, so let's eject it. Clicking on the Eject button. Notice that the little hard drive or the CD drive went away. We can also delete and throw away our Scripty DMG file because we can always download it again if we need to, so I'm just going to throw it in the trash. Now we are ready to start Scripty, and we can do that right from the dock just by clicking on the icon. You can check to see if you are running the latest version of Scripty at any time, provided you have an internet connection. Click the Help menu, then the Check for Updates menu. Great, it looks like we're up to date. There is one more thing I want to show you. In the early versions of Scripty, the very first time you started Scripty, 
you are asked to select a location where you want your Scripty data to be stored. In the newer versions of Scripty, you weren't asked. Scripty just created a folder called Scripty Data and saved it there. In any case, you can check to see where your data is stored by clicking the Help menu, then the Where are my pick lists and photos stored menu. Scripty will show you the location of these files. Mine are stored in the Scripty Data folder. Let's take a look. I'm going to open my hard drive. Next, I'll click on the Scripty Data folder. The file you see called Scripty Pick List Data is where things like participant types, shot look types, camera types, and so on are stored. You won't modify this directly, but you'll make those changes within Scripty. Also notice there are several folders. When you capture photos during a shot, they are stored here in a folder with the same name as your production. I'll click on the Depth Perception folder. Each time you capture a photo or use the Grab Photos feature to import photos, a folder is created for the slate to which the photos belong. I'll select Slate 3A. Under that folder is a folder 1. This is Take 1. Any photos that belong to Slate 3A and Take 1 are stored here. Of course, you will be working with your photos from within Scripty, but if you need to copy them to a CD or send them to someone, this is where they are stored. Now, in addition to the Slates folder, there's also a folder called Daily Reports. When you email the Daily Reports in Scripty, a copy of each report is stored here. Scripty creates a folder for each shoot day and stores the reports for that day in the folder. If you emailed reports for a shoot day more than once, each version of the report will be kept so you always have an exact record of what you sent out. Well that concludes this demonstration of how to download the latest version of Scripty and how Scripty saves files on your computer.